The new Dragon Age game is going to be a freaking flop, guys. According to this article from that park place, it says Dragon Age The Veil Guard still is outside Steam's top 50 bestsellers with just over two weeks until release. Yikes. <laughs> That's not a good spot to be in when you're just two weeks until release. That's that's a bad sign. And I think a lot of this is attributed to what we talked about recently, where there's a lot of stuff in the game, like top surgery scars in the creator character mode that just got absolutely torn apart and flamed completely to where people are like, yeah, this game's going to be trash. On top of other things that we've noted, but man, top 50. It's outside of the top 50. It's not even in the top 50. It's outside of it. That's that's not a good place to be. I think this game's going to flop. And you can say what you want about previous Dragon Age games and how great they were and how much fun they were. We know what the real problem is here. And I, and, and the Wokies hate it, but it's DEI. Oh, these guys will do anything to blame something on DEI. It, it, it's facts. It already tainted the game. On top of the way some of the characters and creatures and species in the game look. On, on top of other ideas that have been placed into here and then uh you know other red flags so definitely not a good sign now according to this article it says uh steam db reports that dragon age the veil guard has moved up the charts but not significantly the game currently sits at the 57th position in steam's top sellers and is just inside the top 30 on the most wish listed upcoming steam games in 28th position those aren't good stats. Now, okay, I'll 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 be nice and I'll be fair. I'll say, hey, maybe when release happens, it'll be trending enough and it'll go into the top fifty <laughs> easily, right? Maybe not top twenty, eh, top thirty. I don't know, but we all know it's it's a woke game. It's it's there's e dei and esg and all that bull crap buzzwords initials whatever you want to call behind it. On launch date, we will see marketing for it. We'll see them try to market. I mean, look at Concord, all the marketing that was behind that, and they still couldn't even get a thousand people to play the game, and that had a disastrous two week launch. So <laughs> I think this is looking like it's going to be worse than that, in my opinion. So you can see a screenshot right here showing the most wish listed upcoming Steam games. Now, according to this, it says a little less than a month ago, the game was just 38th on Steam Database's most wish-listed upcoming stream and 80th in top sellers. That was on S September 20th. So we're looking at October 15th right now. On September 20th, a little under a month ago, it was 80 in the top sellers. Now it's gone down to 57. So slowly but surely, it'll probably get to the top 40, maybe top 30. I don't know, though. Uh, it remains to be seen how this game is going to be received once it releases. I already know that I'm not interested in it. Unless I get a review code or somebody gets it to me for free, I'm not going out of my way to play this game. <laughs> I'm not. I, and I'm being completely honest there. I was asked that on my stream. So going on, it says, Of note, many of the games that were ahead of it on the most wishlisted upcoming Steam games list have indeed come out, such as Dragon Ball Spark and Zero, which is killing it, even though... IGN gave it a 7 out of 10, which was the same score that Dustborn had and Concord had. So what is going on? Strange things are afoot at IGN, right, in regards to their scores. Continuing on, Metaphor came out, killing it, over millions of copies sold. Throne in Liberty, not familiar with that. God of War Ragnarok came to PC, Forever Winter, and Silent Hill 2. So the game's movement from 38th to 28th is likely because games have come out that were above it rather than it actually receiving significantly more wish list, which is actually a good point. All the games that were in the wish list are already out, so space clears up, and now Dragon Age moves up, right? They're saying highly susceptible that, you know, people aren't actually requesting it a lot more again. I saw this game being torn apart on Twitter. I saw this game getting trashed on Twitter. People were just fucking burying it because of the top surgery scar shit. So, again, like I said, it's going to be interesting to see just how many people are playing this game or how much of a fall off we get. 
Continuing on, it says, in fact, as noted above, the game only saw an increase of just 1,887 more followers in the last seven days and has only seen an increase of just 6,149 since September 20th. So not exactly Concord numbers, but for a game, for a series like as big as Dragon Age, yikes. I mean, yikes. Anyways, continuing on. (laughs) Look at how bad this screenshot is right here with this fucking, oh my god. So, you know, it says, not only does it not appear to be tracking well, but a couple of the aforementioned games that were ahead of it are finding fantastic success on Steam and will clearly compete with it even though they might not be the same genre. And and that, that's exactly, like, I feel sorry for anything going up against Metaphor. <laughs> for, for one, anything going up against even the God of War Ragnarok PC port. I mean... These games are all crushing it and killing it. And, and Dragon Age, I don't think, stands a chance against it. It says, uh, Metaphor hit an all-time peak of 85,961 concurrent players just a couple days after its release date. Dragon Age ain't doing these numbers, guys. <laughs> Dragon Age is not doing these numbers. I will be surprised if it hits 10,000. I'll be surprised on that. And uh, Atlas also announced that the game has sold over 1 million copies in just its first day as well. It was revealed that the fastest sell- it was the fastest selling Atlas title. To put that in context, Atlas developed Persona 5. So you can see something that we haven't seen any of these woke-ass companies like Ubisoft post in a while is a, a thank you for 1 million units sold, right? I think the last game we saw before this was like... Uh, <laughs> fucking Black Myth Wukong. I don't even think Ubisoft came out and bragged about Star Wars Atlas at all. In fact, they said it needed polishing up. So Atlas has been crushing it. Other companies have been crushing it. Now Dragon Age is in the hot seat at this point. I don't think they can deliver. I do not think they can deliver. It's going to be interesting to see. And then Dragon Ball came out. And my God. Everybody and their mother except me is playing Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I haven't bought the game yet. I think I'm going to bite the bullet and get it here. But you can see it has 122,554 all-time peak after its release date. 91,000 when it was in early access. And I've seen nothing but good stuff talked about this game. I mean, the hype is real with Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Again, in two weeks' time or less... Dragon Age is going to be competing against Metaphor, which has that many people playing, and Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which has this many people. So they're eating it up. They're eating all the players up. Who's left for Dragon Age? And matter of fact, this is probably the worst time that Dragon Age could choose to come out. The worst time that they could choose to come out. Now, going on, you could see... Previous rumors from retail sources indicated the pre-orders for the game are paltry. Dr. Disaster reported that his insider at retail informed him that pre-order sales were piss poor. Saying that they have an acquaintance in the retail world, someone who runs nine stores that sells video games, and they're hearing that these ratios that we're seeing in damn near every video released for Dragon Age, the Veil Guard, these ratios are correlating with piss poor pre sales data. People are not connecting with the Veil Guard because Dragon Age games are supposed to be dark and gritty, and this just looks completely soft. And that's the problem is that, like Elon Musk said, DEI destroys art, it kills art. And then this echoes also what Craig Skidmus, certain Craig has said, uh, basically that he has a friend that works at a big box retail store that manages over 900 stores, and that Dragon Age Veilguard only had 1,069 pre-order in total, while Zelda had over 4,400 in just the past two weeks. And you can see this was back in September. And this is at when, when I mean, the, the top surgery scar backlash was at its highest. And, and I don't think that did the game any favors at all, to be completely honest. I mean, Zelda killed it, which, okay, yeah, it's a Zelda game. It's going to kill it. <laughs> but in over 900-plus stores, if, if this insider is correct, only 1,069 pre-orders, that's like, that's not even one per store. Like, maybe two per store. Like, like this is bad. Imagine a big box like retail store only having one pre order out of nine hundred stores. Like like what what's the math there? <laughs> like like that's they're losing money. 
game studios are losing money, right? They all go on to say a retail entire awesome form part place at Dragon Age. Pre-orders in total got outsold by Zelda by nearly 20 times, while Skidmas Skidsmith said Zelda sales were 4,400 in the last two weeks. The total sales were closer than 20,000. Furthermore, the source shared that Zelda actually sold out after it was released, and Nintendo is very pleased. Of course it is. It's, it's fucking Zelda. So, Dragon Age is in trouble, guys. Just over two weeks until release, and they're not even in the top fucking 50 <laughs> of, of, of Steam's bestsellers. It's going to be bad. The shit show is going to be real, guys. And honestly, who are they going to blame it on? They're going to blame it on gamers. That's that's what it always is. Oh, all these ra rage-baiting right-wing grifters like Grums are the reason why these games fail because their audiences are so stupid and they don't understand. That's exactly what's going to happen, guys. That's exactly what's going to fucking happen. <sighs> Everybody's just fucking nutto these days. Anyways, let me know your not, your thoughts in the comment section. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Subscribe if you're brand new. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much.